Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So here is what I meal prepped for this coming week. So the first thing I started with was steaming up some vegetables for one of my meal preps. So you see here I'm just using one of those steamer baskets and I'm steaming some broccoli cauliflower, some of that superfood blends from Walmart, and then also some green beans. Also, if you see there on the other burner, I am boiling some eggs for hard boiled eggs. And those will be for snacks. And speaking of snacks, I went ahead and cut up a cucumber and cleaned up some grapes. And then I had one little old red bell pepper left over from last week, so I cut that up to have with some hummus this week as well. And then now I am doing something completely new to me. I am making some pickled vegetables and some fermented onions. A coworker of mine, she does a lot of fermented vegetables and they're really good for gut health. And so I was kind of just looking at some stuff on the internet <clears throat> and it seemed like fermented onions was one of the easiest things to do. And if you guys watched um, the summer cookout collab, you saw that Danielle from Danielle Diaries, she made pickled onions. So that kind of inspired me to do this as well. So I found a recipe for pickled vegetables. Um, I will link the two recipes down below that I used um, for these so that way um, you can see the measurements and all that but for the pickled vegetables I did radish and cucumber and onion and carrots and then I just used some apple cider vinegar and some salt and that's pretty much it again I will have everything down below and then you just stick this in the refrigerator and as far as the onions I just of course used a uh, half of a red onion and then you just use um, salt for this and some water and this you'd actually leave on the counter. You want to put it in a cool kind of dry place covered up and so and then you have to burp it like every day every other day or something to let the gases out. So it'd be interesting to see how all this works out because I've never had anything fermented before. Again you'll see these recipes in the description box. And then finally, I worked on three different meal, meal preps I'm gonna have for lunches this week. I made some two ingredient dough pizzas. So I right here, I am making my pizza sauce. My pizza sauce is seriously so easy. I will have it written out in the description box with the ingredients and all the measurements and all that. But it's just simply tomato paste, minced garlic, use some parsley, some onion salt, <clears throat> some garlic powder, oregano, basil, and water, and that is it. Super, super simple and really good and zero smart points. And then on my for my two ingredient dough, I just used a cup of plain nonfat Greek yogurt and a cup of self-rising flour. I always save a little bit of the flour because I use that on my board. That way I'm not adding extra points by adding in extra flour for your surface. So you just, I just rolled all these out and I ended up making six pizzas out of this. Again, the des in the description box, I will have the smart points and all the, um, everything all listed out. Um, to this, I added some of the reduced fat mozzarella cheese from Walmart and I added on one Canadian bacon and three turkey pepperonis.
So I just threw these in the oven. They took about 25 minutes to get to the um, kind of crispiness that I wanted. And you can see here, I am putting two of them in each meal prep container. My son is gonna have the other two. I'm just gonna have one for lunch later on this week. And then the next meal prep I am working on is the one I'm using the steamed vegetables for. So I'm just using some of the Foster Farms grilled chicken strips and I just put those in the smaller container of the meal prep container and then um, added in all those steamed vegetables. So, so good. So this will be just a simple and I'll probably add um, some avocado as well the morning that I take this to work. And then finally, I wanted to do kind of another old favorite, and that's chicken taquitos. I haven't made them in a long time, so I am using the super-sized corn tortillas and, some again, some of the Foster Farms grilled chicken breast strips. And then I added in some cumin and some chili powder, some green chilies, some garlic powder and onion salt. And then I just mixed all that up and I did heat up the tortillas in the microwave. I kind of steamed them in between some wet paper towels for about about 30 to 45 seconds. So they were nice and um, easy to roll up. And so I roll, I put the chicken in there, added in some of the fat-free cheddar from Walmart, and then I just rolled them up and put them in my air fryer and they came out nice and crispy. Cut them in half, put them in the meal prep container. Um, in this little container here, I have some plain non-fat Greek yogurt to dip them in and then I just added some black beans on the side. So there you go. There is everything I meal prepped for this coming week. Let me know if you guys are doing any meal prepping because I'd like to hear what you did for the week. And thank you for watching. If you are new here, please stick around and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like meal prep videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.